everyone, so today's video is going to be uh, for color correcting in Final Cut Pro. I get asked about this all of the time. So I'm finally sitting down to do it for you. So this is actually a video that I just got done filming about how to get more views on YouTube. So if you guys can see, this is filmed with a Canon Rebel T3i with natural lighting and a Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens. And this is how you kind of get that blurry background. So if you guys can tell, it takes kind of a trained eye to see, and you'll get better with it in time. This is a little bit too yellowy and a little bit too uh, pinky orange for my liking. So to color correct, all you have to do is click on this and go to show color board. Right now it's hidden, or it's shown, but you click show color board and it's going to bring you these options. So right now, if you click on your clip, these are the um, degrees or, yeah, the degrees of your video. So the it's kind of like, think of it like temperature. So the um, hotter it is, the more warm tone it's going to be and the cooler it is. Uh, or the more low the number is, the cooler your video clip is going to be. It's kind of like that. Um, now, Final Cut Pro does have some presets, and I also have my own presets here. So this is the one that I usually use for my video. I think I like it. I mean, I like it because it kind of washes it out a little bit. But um, if you guys want those settings, this is what the settings are. And you guys could just, like, type it into Final Cut Pro if you would like. <clears throat> but I'm going to actually show you guys how to create your own... Um, kind of filter. So you go in and you look at the color and you kind of see that it's a little bit too yellowy orange. So I'm going to take global and this is usually what I like to kind of play around with first and I bring it over into the blue tones. So it kind of evens that out if you guys can tell here. Um, and then you could also play around with shadows. Um, I usually like to keep it at where it is or even move it over and highlights you can play around with and this is kind of like um, I don't usually play around with the highlights too much because well you guys can see how much of a difference it makes so I usually like to play my video each time I do it so now it kind of looks a little bit faded a little bit so you want to go into saturation and I like to go into midtones and this is going to be kind of like your skin color and you can saturate that a little bit um, shadows I don't usually saturate to be honest and highlights I don't usually saturate too much because it makes the background look super super saturated um, so I usually just play around with your midtones which is pretty much like your skin color if you are Caucasian um, and then exposure, what I like to do is for the shadows, I like to deepen them a little bit. Um, for the midtones, I usually uh, get it down a tiny bit. And then for highlights, I do like to brighten it up a little bit. And then you could also play with the global, which I usually um, go forward. Uh, or um, up because it kind of gives you a little bit of a washed out of look and then what you could also do is if you are still not liking it you could go ahead and play around with this a little bit more to kind of find a look that you enjoy um, and this all kind of takes time and it's also all of your it's all your preference too um, so this is kind of something that I actually really like the look of and you know you everyone is going to be different so just keep that in mind um, so if you do really like your uh, creation that you created what you could do is you actually save it as a preset and you just go to presets save preset and then name it so I don't know video filter and if you like want to name it you can name it as whatever you want so the next time you guys can actually like click on that preset and it'll make whatever clip the same so um, I'm gonna actually show you guys what it looks like before color correcting and after color correcting so before after So color correcting definitely does make a big difference, and it's actually a lot easier on Final Cut Pro, but, um, yeah. And also, what I could show you is, um, it may be a little bit, it may need a little bit more contrast here, but it looks like a little bit, like it's a little bit too bright. So you can actually go ahead in, back in, and show the color board, and kind of play around with this if you would like, so... 
I'm going to go into exposure and for the highlights and then shadows deepen it up a little bit. So then before, after. So yeah, um, it definitely makes a big uh, difference and um, if I ever come up with some really cool filters, I will definitely share them with you guys. But, um, yeah, this is kind of how you color correct. It's the basics of color correcting. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.